Daniel Reyes here from DoTheDaniel.com. It may be winter here in Canada, but it is summer in Chile, and I got inspired to create some recipes in partnership with Produce May Simple. Plums are a delicious fruit from Chile, and I thought that I would do a, a twist on a classic bramble cocktail, which is a gin cocktail usually enjoyed in the spring. Why don't we make it together? So to start off, what you want to do is thinly slice a plum, and in order to make sure that they don't turn brown, you want to soak them in lemon water, which allows them to keep their tartness and plays off the flavors of this cocktail. So what you do is you line the glass with the slices, and then what you can do is you fill the glass with some ice to make sure that it pushes the plum slices up against the side of the glass. In a shaker, what you're gonna to wanna to combine is half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of Chambord, or any berry liqueur will work, but Chambord I find has a nice tartness which plays off the plum. And then because it's a Chilean inspired cocktail, I wanted to use some Pisco. So over ice, you're gonna combine that with a little bit of fresh lemon. Now when you squeeze a lemon, here's a fun fact for you. You actually wanna try and make sure that the juice slides over the lemon peel because it picks up some of the oils. I, everybody loves a good lemon zest. This just intensifies that flavor and really plays off the cocktail. So make sure it's nice and closed. Give it a good shake. And then serve and enjoy. I love it. I love it so much. Cheers to you. Here's what you'll need to make my delicious Chilean bramble. Half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of Chilean pisco, half an ounce of Chambord or your favorite berry liqueur, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, one plum thinly sliced so you can layer it into the glass. Recently I attended an event that actually really impressed me. It was super fabulous. What they did was they used dry ice. So if you really want to impress your guests, this is a great way to do that. You're going to make the exact same cocktail, but instead of filling the glass with ice, you're going to use dry ice. When you go online to check your authorized food service dry ice vendor, they'll be able to explain to you all the procedures and the safety tips that you're going to need. Obviously safety first. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour the cocktail into the glass without ice in it and use those plum slices as a guide. That's about that one and a half ounce mark that you need to go for. Then this is where the magic happens. Using tongs, of course, you're gonna put approximately a teaspoon of dry ice into the glass. This is gonna be where all the magic starts happening. All right, here we go. So about that teaspoon mark. This is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful cocktail. Your guests are gonna be super impressed. Make sure they all have their Instagram accounts open. Tag do the Daniel produce made simple. There we go. Enjoy. I hope you love these recipes, but always remember to enjoy responsibly.